VIP? Do you have a cell phone that you can text on? Then consider this an exclusive invitation. As a VIP, you will receive special secret offers via text. These items are usually free and they are always must have craft supplies from beloved brands. Sometimes we even send you insider knowledge about upcoming deals that you won't find anywhere else. Or we'll send a little coupon code to brighten your day and lower your cart cost. We'll also let you know first about new releases like the next hottest color from Tim Holtz or that brand new must have that, oh, I almost spilled the beans. You're just gonna have to sign up to find out what that one is for yourself. Send us a text and become a VIP at scrapbook.com. Hello, my crafty friends. It's Tiffany from Totally Tiffany. Let's get organized. One of the things that's really important about getting organized is having a good system of organization, right? Think about your silverware drawer. It is the perfect organization system for silverware. Everything in its place, easy to take out and easy to put back. That's what you need to do in your craft room. Use something like the scrap rack where you can put everything together, see everything, use it, put it back when you're done with it. Fast, simple, keep things together, you use together. Combine and conquer. That is my tip for you today. What makes the Magic Mat so great? The greatest thing about the Magic Mat is that you no longer have to worry about warped cutting plates. The Magic Mat was designed to take the place of one of your hard cutting plates. You just place your die blade side down onto your paper and magic mat. Then place your hard plate on top and run it through your machine. Your dies will cut into the magic mat and leave your hard plates nice and pristine so you won't have to replace a warped cutting plate ever again. I love pictures, I love home videos, I love everything that tells a story. I love storytelling. Documenting your memories is awesome and you'll tell your story. You are the only one who can tell your stories. Things change, my kids grew up. They don't like to be in front of the camera as much anymore. They're done with milestones, they're done with firsts. So what have I been focusing on? What have I been documenting? My life and travel. If you do any documenting for December, you can go to town with this. Because when you document travel, when you document anything, looking at those memories brings back <laughs> September is just around the corner, friends, and guess what we have in store for you? SBC Fest. Are you ready for the next SBC Fest? Mark your calendars because the next SBC Fest takes place on September 15th and 16th. It's time to get crafty and join our two-day virtual event. You'll learn card making and scrapbooking tutorials from some of the best instructors. Have you heard about SBC Fest? SBC Fest is back. Hey friends, it's Simon Hurley. It's Vicky Booten. This is Leah Lawson. My name is Brianna Lepper. Hi there, Natalie Susie. My name is Tiffany Solorio. I'm Marisha Dean. I'm Christy Marcotte. I'm Lauren Taylor. Justin Adkins here, and I'm so excited. So excited. So excited. Super excited to be joining the third SBC Fest hosted by Scrapbook.com. SBC Fest is a free paper crafting virtual two-day event where a bunch of talented designers come together and create amazing classes for all of you. We have card making classes, scrapbooking, and so much more. This event is jam-packed with so much inspiration. The best part is that it's free. That's right. It's free. So excited. There are so many amazing instructors that are going to teach you different tips and techniques to help bring your projects to the next level. And we are going to be making cards and layouts and techniques and so many fun things. You'll have a chance to chat live with the instructors while their video premieres to ask them questions. I hope you'll join us. It'll be held on September 15th and 16th. So what are you waiting for? Come join us. Spread the word. Can't wait to see you there. At Scrapbook.com, we strongly believe in providing free education and inspiration. So we are thrilled to offer admission to this event at no cost. Be sure to attend the event live so that you'll be able to connect with the instructors and fellow crafty enthusiasts in the live chat. Not only will you take away new crafting techniques and ideas, you may just walk away with one of the many prizes we'll be giving away. Can't make the event live? No worries. You can watch the replay and take the classes at your own pace. Join us September 15th and 16th, and when picking up your supplies, use the coupon code SBCFEST3 Three. to save at checkout. Stay up to date on all things SBC Fest by signing up for the newsletter. Visit scrapbook.com slash SBC Fest. Hello 
and thanks so much for joining our live stream today. We are so excited to share with you about our new Artis glue. So many of you have been requesting this and it's finally here. All right, let's jump right into what you're getting in this live stream deal. The MSRP on this Artis glue is $20, but right now, during this live stream two-day special, it is only $8.99. And let me show you everything you're getting in this box. You're getting the fabulous Artis glue, four ounces. You're getting the adapter cap, an instruction sheet. You're getting this vial with all of these precision tips. You get the ultra fine stainless steel metal tip. You're also getting the fine tip. You're also getting the cleaning pin and you're getting a stopper. All of these tips plus on the actual glue, you get this fabulous tip as well. Let's jump right in and show you how fabulous this glue is. So as you can see in my glue here, I have to twist off this top. Okay, we're gonna take this red stopper out and you just pop it out like that. And then we're gonna screw back on our tip. Okay, first we're gonna take a card right here. This was our interactive card that we did in a live stream. And I wanna add some cute sequins. So I think I'm gonna use these white sequins. So let's just open up some of these on the table. We're gonna take our artiste glue and we're just gonna take one of the sequins and add a drop of glue on there. Let's add this to our heart border. Let's get another one. You can use your tweezers or your picking tool whatever tool you want to use. I'm just using my hands just so I can show you this glue. That, and it dries so fast and it dries clear. So if you want to just add a little bit of sequence onto your project, this Artiste glue is perfect. All right, let's do some die cutting. I have got the new Gemini 2 machine up here on my table with me and I am so excited to use it. So this is brand new at scrapbook.com, available here. And it also has the swivel pieces on the bottom so I can swivel the machine for easy use. You can buy those separately, but they are fabulous. Let me tell you, I love that I can swivel it and have it go the direction that I need it to go and use it quickly. All right, let's take some of our dies here and take my, let's take our honeycomb cover plate die from scrapbook.com and let's cut is great dies. Okay, I am gonna take some of our new sunshine paper. This is our six by eight available now, sunshine paper pad with gorgeous colors. Look at these gorgeous colors in here. So excited about this. Let's take this pretty purpley pink. And let's cut this. So what we're gonna do is, these are the plates for the Gemini 2. I'm gonna take all four of these, but I'm gonna replace one of the white plates with our Magic Map Plus. Okay, so I'm gonna put my paper down there and then I'm gonna take my A2. You can use some mint tape if you want. But I'm just gonna do that and then I'm just gonna sandwich it with these other mats and we're gonna put it right through the Gemini 2. It's nice and quiet, fabulous. Use some elevator music. Ta-da, that cut nicely. Look at all that. I'm gonna cut out all my pieces here. I think I have my pokey tool over here. Poke all that out. Sometimes I like to give it a little tap to get all the pieces out, run my fingers through, whatever you like to do to get your die cut out. And we're gonna take this intricate die. This is fabulous to use the Artiste glue with because there's so many small pieces on the back to adhere. And this Artiste glue with the fine tip will get all of those smaller pieces for you. This is kind of therapeutic, kind of like popping those bubble, bubble wrap pops, you know? You know what I'm talking about? Pull that out. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna move my magic mat aside. 
All right, so now let's take an A2 card front. Just have a white A2 card front and we want to adhere this down to this card base, right? So I'm going to swap out my tips here. So I've got this tip that came with the artiste glue already on it. So I'm going to unscrew that and then we're going to take the adapter, put that on. Then once you have the adapter on, these other tips will fit right into that adapter and then you just give it a little turn to lock it in place. Like that. Okay. Now I want to get adhesive on the back of my skinny areas here. This is going to go along all of the edges here. It glides out nicely and it gives me that very fine line of glue so I can do really delicate die cuts. So if you're working with some delicate words, delicate designs like this A2 card front, or if you're working with florals and you just need little tiny adhesive lines, this metal tip is perfect for that. You can see here, I'm not going to get every little piece, but I'm going to try and get the areas that I want to adhere down. You could do the whole thing, but I'm just going to do little dots everywhere that I need this because I did the whole edge. I want the center to stick down. I love this glue so much and it dries clear, which is nice. So if you get a little glue on the side, no worries. It's going to dry nice and clear and it dries fast, which is another great thing about this glue. I love that it dries fast. You have a little bit of wiggle room to maneuver things around, but then it is going to dry really fast. All right. I think that's good. We've got all the little areas. So let's adhere this onto our card front. Put that down just like that. Like I said, you have a little bit of wiggle room to match up the edges. And then like that, it dries it all flat down nice. See that? Such a great glue. Quick and fast and easy to use. And I love this metal fine tip. I even love the green fine tip and the tip that it comes with. Three different sizes of um, lines when you um, squeeze the glue out, and I'll show you that in just a minute. But I love that you get three different options with this glue. Okay, like that, and it's already drying. Perfect. Okay, let's say you wanna add some embellishments to your already made card, and you have smaller embellishments. These are great for alphabet letters, um, and little embellishments like this, butterfly. I want to add one more butterfly. So I just want a thin little strip of glue right down the back of this butterfly right down there. Then I'm going to adhere that butterfly down. Okay, that easy. And one thing I want to say about the, can you put the camera on? One thing I want to say about the Artiste glue is because this, when you have the metal fine tip on your glue, it is so fine that not even air is going to get through. So you're going to want to, if it like seems like it's not going to push out, you just want to massage your bottle a little bit, tap it to get that glue out of there so that you can have a fresh start with your adhesive again. Um, because it's such a fine tip, the, the air doesn't even get through. So you just want to give it a little bit of a massage, a little tap, and then it's ready to go again. And I can show you here on my scrap paper, it's ready to go again. Ta -da! Just like that. New dots, little tiny dots. Let's show you the thickness of the different tips that this comes with. All right, so let's grab a piece of paper from our sunshine paper pad. I'm going to grab, let's grab this pretty green. Actually, I think I want to grab this darker pink so you can really see the glue. Okay, this is our ultra fine metal tip. You can see the line it makes and then the dots. Okay, now let's switch it out. Let's do our, oops, 
fine tip, which is the green tip. And I'm just going to add it to the adapter by pushing it in and turning it. And this is a much thicker one. So if you need thicker glue, this is great for that. Okay, that's a great one. Now let's take off that fine tip. Let's take off the adapter and let's put on our tip that came on the bottle. All right, it's more of a medium size. So you could see the difference between the three different tip sizes. So let me lay them by each one. So that's the fine tip. That's the ultra fine. And then this one is the tip that came on the bottle. It's more of a medium between the two. Oop, that didn't work good. But anyway, so you get it. It goes right here. <laughs> Oop, pop. That happens. That's all right. Okay, so three different sizes, three different thicknesses. This is such a great set to have for all of your paper crafting projects because you are definitely going to need a thin, line of glue for something that you're working on, especially those intricate dies. You're going to need the medium size and you're going to need the thickest size for all of your paper crafting projects. Let's say you're working on something heavier like some um, jewels or some buttons. The thicker one would be great to add more of that glue on there to make sure it sticks and gets down really good. All right, and don't forget to clean out your tips. So once you're done using this one, you'll just want to clean it with some mild soap and water. Just clean it out and let it air dry. Same with this one. But with the fine tip, you have this pin that goes right back inside to unclog your metal tip like that and get the glue out right there and then you would just clean off this pin. So you'll just wanna clean that out like that with a wet wipe and a paper towel. All right, let me show you something else with, let me get this lid back on here, with our fine tips. Fine tip back on. So on top of the fact that you get all of these tips in this Artiste glue package, you're getting that vial with all the tips in it. You can also purchase the tips separately and I'll show you why. Let me show you how fun these tips are for pops of color. Okay, so in this separate set, you're getting the adapter and all the tips that come in your artiste glue, but you're getting them in the vial with this adapter. So we've got our pops of color, right? This adapter, you take off the lid, then you unscrew your um, tip to your pops of color, that aside, put on the adapter, and let's get out our metal tip here, these pieces like that and you just screw it down. Now watch this, let me get some white paper. I love these metal tips so much with the pops of color because it allows you to get little teeny tiny dots and little teeny tiny lines. So if you want some precision pops of color embellishments added to your paper crafting projects, this fine tip, ultra fine tip with the stainless steel tip is perfect for getting those little teeny tiny detailed designs. How cute that is. Just itty bitty dots. So cute. And then you can even do thin lines with your pops of color. Look how great that is. And then you would just take your pin, your cleaning pin that comes with the tips and put it right inside your pops of color to store it like that. The color I just used is Gloss Sunshine. This is such a favorite color of mine. I love this bright yellow. Um, and if you wanna know about any of the products that I'm using today in this live stream, be sure to check the description because we have all the links there for all of the products that I've been using today. Okay, I'm gonna show you our Raspberry Kiss too. This is a fun one. This is the Gloss Raspberry Kiss. All right, this works with all of our pops of color except for the glitter. The glitter is a little more difficult and tricky because it has the thicker um, glitter in it. So they don't, it doesn't go through the metal tip as well, but this is so great to use with your pops of color just to create little tiny details. You can use them with all of our pops of color, okay? All right, friends, if you're enjoying this live stream, be sure to give this video a like. 
All right, now we are going to toss to our good friend, Lauren Taylor, and she's going to join us and share about the Artiste Glue. Lauren? Hi friends, I'm Lauren Taylor, and I'm so excited to be here in today's live stream for the brand new Artiste Craft Glue with the Precision Tip. I absolutely love glue with a precision tip, so I have been dying to get my hands on the new Artiste Craft Glue. I am loving that it's so easy to use, comes out so nice and smooth out of the precision tip. It's perfect for very intricate, delicate dyes like sentiments and gluing those sentiments onto their shadow counterparts or layering different dyes together. So I'm so excited for this brand new glue and I'm so excited for you guys to all get your hands on it too. I thought I would channel my inner Cody and work on a little tag so you can see different ways to use this fine point tip applicator on our Artiste glue. I die cut the Yay tag out of some Sunny Lean pattern paper collection as well as some pieces from the holographic mirror paper. I also have our butterflies one set and I did the same for that as well. I did our shadow in the holographic and the detail in the Sunny Lane pattern paper. So I'm using my tweezers to hold my small and more delicate die cut pieces and then using my artiste glue with the fine point to apply the glue behind each of those small pieces. So around the circle for the tag, really nicely behind the yay script sentiment and it glues so well to the other pieces of cardstock. I'm just lightly pressing the paper onto the holographic. Now this holographic paper is a little more slick so you need to be gentle but I just think it turns out so beautiful and I just love how easy it is to glue such dainty little die pieces like this butterfly detail die cut onto their shadow dies. So just applying some glue and I'm getting nice fine lines through the fine point tip and I'm able to easily glue it to its shadow counterpart. Here you can see again using my tweezers to help me place my detailed die cut onto the holographic shadow and then just lightly pressing it until the glue dries just a bit in order to keep that die cut in place. I also just use the same glue to glue these pieces onto my tag. You can replace the tip, but I just love this fine point tip for all of my gluing. So I'm going to glue this butterfly onto the bottom of my tag and I'll also pop up my yay sentiment on this fun, bright, and colorful tag. I hope you're as excited as I am to get the Artiste glue and I'm looking forward to see all of the inspiration that you are gluing together with this new fine point tip and wonderful glue. So I hope Cody is proud of my yay tag and thank you again for having me on today's live stream. Thank you so much, Lauren. Okay, friends. This is the best glue. Grab it while supplies last $8.99. All right, so I've got some of these bows cut from our bow topper die set, which have a ton of bows in them, which is really cute. This is just five of the bows. But if you wanted to add some really tiny embellishments to them, the Artiste glue is perfect for that. So I'm gonna use my fine tip here on the Artiste glue. Take out my pen. And then let's adhere this cute pretty white sequence to the center of our bow. Tweezers are helpful, but I'm gonna use my nails to put that down right in the center. Look how cute that is. Let's adhere another one right on top of it, just to add a little bit of silver to it. Look how cute that is. All right, so I added some dimension by layering the two sequins on top of each other, and look at how cute that is. This Artiste glue is perfect because it's going to dry clear on this embellishment. And then if you wanted to layer some bows together, let's see. Let's say I wanted to layer this little guy on top of this one. Just do a little dab of this glue with the fine tip. Put that down right in the center of my other bow. How cute that is. Cute. This glue is perfect for all those little tiny intricate detailed paper die cuts. All right, friends. Right now during this live stream, you can get this brand new Artiste glue. The MSRP is $20, but for right now during the live stream for the next two days or while supplies last, it's only $8.99. 
and included in the glue box is the glue plus all of the tips that you get with it. Okay, so I've got my card here already almost finished with all of my leaves adhered down. And I'm just gonna add one more leaf. So the Artiste glue will give me that fine line that I need just down the back of my leaf to add right here to my finished project. If you're gonna go use this glue again on another leaf, you would just make sure you tap it or massage it a little bit to get that glue down out of the tiny, tiny, fine, ultra fine tip, okay? Final reminder, get your Artiste glue now. The MSRP is $20, but right now during this live stream, it is only $8.99 for two days only or while supplies last. If you enjoyed this live stream party, give this video a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're new here, and to make sure that you don't miss our next deal, sign up for our VIP text. All right, friends, we will see you all next week at the next inspiration-filled live stream party. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye-bye. September is just around the corner, friends, and guess what we have in store for you? SBC Fest. Are you ready for the next SBC Fest? Mark your calendars because the next SBC Fest takes place on September 15th and 16th. It's time to get crafty and join our two-day virtual event. You'll learn card making and scrapbooking tutorials from some of the best instructors. Have you heard about SBC Fest? SBC Fest is back! Hey friends, it's Simon Hurley. It's Vicky Booten. This is Leah Lawson. My name is Brianna Lepper. Hi there, Natalie Susi. My name is Tiffany Solorio. I'm Marisha Dean. I'm Christy Marcotte. I'm Lauren Taylor. Justin Adkins here, and I'm so excited. So excited. So excited. Super excited to be joining the third SBC Fest hosted by Scrapbook.com. SBC Fest is a free paper crafting virtual two-day event where a bunch of talented designers come together and create amazing classes for all of you. We have card making classes, scrapbooking, and so much more. This event is jam-packed with so much inspiration. The best part is that it's free. That's right. It's free. So excited. There are so many amazing instructors that are going to teach you different tips and techniques to help bring your projects to the next level. And we are going to be making cards and layouts and techniques and so many fun things. You'll have a chance to chat live with the instructors while their video premieres to ask them questions. I hope you'll join us. It'll be held on September 15th and 16th. So what are you waiting for? Come join us. Spread the word. Can't wait to see you there. At Scrapbook.com, we strongly believe in providing free education and inspiration. So we are thrilled to offer admission to this event at no cost. Be sure to attend the event live so that you'll be able to connect with the instructors and fellow crafty enthusiasts in the live chat. Not only will you take away new crafting techniques and ideas, you may just walk away with one of the many prizes we'll be giving away. Can't make the event live? No worries. You can watch the replay and take the classes at your own pace. Join us September 15th and 16th, and when picking up your supplies, use the coupon code SBCFEST3 Three. to save at checkout. Stay up to date on all things SBC Fest by signing up for the newsletter. Visit scrapbook.com slash SBC Fest.